Hi guys, Dahlia here, welcome to my channel. I was tagged by the brilliant Emily Bourne and her channel is linked below in the description bar. Emily, along with Jesse Elliott and Mandy Ling, are the creators of this 12 question tag. This tag was adapted from an older one which Jesse Elliott was the original creator of. The original tag will be in the description bar below. And their videos for this tag will be also in the description bar for you to peruse at your leisure. I've been watching Emily's videos from the start and she is brilliant. If you're on your own writing journey and you kind of want to follow along with someone who's at the same point in time as you, then look no further than her channel. Mandy Lynn is a popular author tuber who has published two books. Her videos are based around NaNoWriMo and the entire writing process. I recently found Jessie Elliott's channel through this tag actually, and I highly recommend it. If you're looking to self-publish, she's the one to binge watch. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So here are the writing questions. Number one, what would your main character's favorite Christmas song be? So I chose Santa Baby by Eartha Kitt. My main character, Alia, loves being loves, she loves material possessions, and she's just one of those people that this song really suits. Her favorite part would be, think of all the fun I've missed, think of all the fellas that I haven't kissed, next year I could be all so good if you'll check off my Christmas list. Two, out of all your characters, who would be the best gift giver? Siren is an enchantress. She is an empathic and she can invoke visions. Not only this, but she's a great listener. So she would know what these people wanted before they even knew themselves. And she would easily choose the gifts and expect nothing in return. And they would always be so personalized. Number three, what would be your MC's favorite part about the holidays? Alia would love going shopping with everyone for Christmas gifts because she would like to nose around and see kind of what they were buying to see if anything could even remotely be what they could get her. This would be as joyous to her as seeing all of her friends, friends drunk by the end of the Christmas night and hugging each other and saying just how much they love each other and appreciate each other and how they never want to lose each other and all that stuff that we all do when we're drunk. So it would be just as fun to her. Number four, your MC and his, her love interest step under a mistletoe. What happens? Alia's love interest is Faustina. And Faustina wouldn't be unsuspecting as Alia kind of leant over and held the mistletoe above their heads. Then Alia would pounce on the poor girl and plant a huge kiss on her forehead. Faustina would awkwardly kind of look around and lift Alia off, but definitely give her a quick kiss on the lips or maybe a nose rub or something like that. Number five, ho ho ho, who's on the naughty list? Semyon and Copernicus, but for different things. If we're talking about the ho 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 part, that would be Copernicus. Because he is a ho for show. He can't be faithful, he believes in free love, and he just, he doesn't get the whole monogamous relationship thing. He just, he doesn't understand it. And he just wants to be with as many happy-go-lucky sinful women as he can be. That's his prerogative. It's what he does. Semyon, on the other hand, would be on the naughty list for cold-blooded killing. He's definitely a creative murderer, and no one can say that he isn't, and I'm not gonna get into some of the stuff that he does because it's probably not appropriate on YouTube, but just look out for when my book gets released and you read all about his antics and the brutal way that he kills people that he hates. Number six, how would your MC decorate their home? Tree, lights, giant blow up Santa. Alia would go all out. Her house would smell like gingerbread cookies. She wouldn't have cooked them. Her Acrogenia servant would have cooked them. But the house would smell beautiful. It would be all lit up. The only lights in the house would be Christmas lights. And there would be gifts everywhere, like just hidden and scattered everywhere all over her home. And she would expect everyone to come in and have this search party of all their gifts and whatnot. But if they found someone else's, they couldn't tell them that they'd found theirs. They had to kind of keep a secret so the game could just go on and on and on and on and on. Number seven, which character holds a New Year's party? Copernicus looks forward mostly to parties and alcohol. He would invite everyone he knew and expect them to bring everyone they knew. And then he would serve a lot of alcohol and he would turn the heating right up. So they all had to take off the extra layers because, you know, they're cumbersome. You can't get to someone if they're wearing layers and layers of clothing. Not that that's relevant in Australia because it is like 
36 degrees out there today, but regardless, if it was a white Christmas, he would turn the heating right up. Number eight, what would be your MC's resolution? So let's get real for a second. My MC, Alia, is the Contessa of her state, Orville. She is required to give her people what they need, whether that be resources or supplies or food, etc. But because of the fact that her friends have humbled her so much, she wouldn't do it as a requirement, but just because she wants to give her people what they deserve, what every single person deserves. And to see the cheer throughout the streets and hear the music playing, which is something that wasn't played when her parents were in charge and, you know, were ruling the con uh, ruling the state, sorry. Um, it would be something that would put a smile on her face. Number nine, does your MC have a Christmas tradition? Unfortunately, there's no Christmas in my work in progress world. The lower classes do have a tradition where they spend two days swapping necessities with each other. That's if the time permits. If they don't have the necessities, then they can't do this, but they try to do it every single year that they can. And if someone can't participate, then they still get the gifts even though they can't return them. But they do try to the next year. It's a way for the lower classes to look out for each other when the ruling class doesn't look out for them. This isn't so much the case um, when Alia becomes Contessa because she obviously she keeps this thing around this tradition but she includes all the classes and she it's a requirement that they all do it and of course because Alia is one of the wealthy ruling classes she is able to give more people more things. Number 10 who would be the number one person your MC would want to spend the holidays with? Alia would spend the holidays with Faustina. They would wrap gifts together and decorate the tree and the house, of course. Well, Faustina installed the lights and also set up the sound system for the Christmas party, Alia would make hot cocoa on demand so they could work throughout the night. If not Faustina, then probably Semyon, because he's pretty much up for anything. I mean, especially sleep. Like, he really... He'd be like, hey, Alia, you know, you're watching TV there. Do you mind if I just go and nap on the chair over there? And she'd be like, yeah, cool, go ahead. So low maintenance. Number 11. What is your MC's perfect holiday destination? The Fashma Islands are tropical and filled with landmarks and ancient ruins. This is somewhere that she would live if she could. The islands are full of exotic plants and animals and herbs full of healing properties. With the sun, sand and ocean, she would never want to go home. Number 12. Which character is ruining the holiday photos with funny faces? Copernicus would photobomb every single photo that he could, but probably with his nipples rather than his face, because that's kind of more something he would do. Everyone would laugh at first, but by the 14th photo, they would get mad enough to want to strangle him. But then, later on in the night, when everyone got drunk, they would encourage him to come back out again and bring his nipples with him. So that concludes this tag. Thank you so much for watching today and a huge thank you to Emily Bourne for tagging me. If you haven't watched her video, what are you doing? Click on the link below. Her characters are adorable. If you have any questions or want me to cover a specific topic, please drop a comment below. I post regularly videos on Thursdays. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye!